This is a great little potato dish that my dad taught me to do and it's really, really simple and really tasty and uses ingredients that you already have in your kitchen. Now, I'm going to use some of this Glad Bake to pop on the bottom of my baking tray. Really important, the Glad Bake stops it from sticking and I always use it. I'm also using a nice heavy base baking dish that I love cooking potatoes in. Nice and heavy based, you know you're going to get crispy potatoes. Here's my little tip. I steam my potatoes whole like this so that they cook really quickly and they crisp up. And I also leave them in nice big chunks so I get lots of surface area and they get nice and crisp. But I need to flavour them up with my secret ingredient. Now this is something I don't tell many people, I'm just telling you guys. So once you know the secret, please don't tell anyone else because they'll all be begging to know why your potatoes taste so good. So spread the potatoes out on the baking dish and you'll see there's plenty of room for the potatoes to crisp up. Now I'll add some fat. I'm using some duck fat here, but you can use olive oil, you can use butter, you can use anything you want, but I like the flavour of duck fat. But to add even more flavour, I'm using Mighty Mite. Mighty Mite is one of my favourite things because I do have a few gluten-free friends and they come over and this is the perfect way to serve up some really tasty potatoes for people who can't normally eat something like this. A little bit of salt on top and it's just a matter of mixing it around a little bit with your hands to make sure that they're well covered. Now, while these go into the oven, which is preheated at 200 degrees Celsius, nice and hot, I'll take them out a couple of times, shake them around to make sure that they're well and truly covered. In they go. You wait till you see these. These are delicious. Oh, look at these potatoes. Sizzling away beautifully. All we need is a little bit of butter on top to melt away. Pop that down there. Look at that. The butter melts beautifully and it goes so well with this Mighty Might. Just to go on at the end. It makes it even more flavoursome and tasty and some parsley. And then with a wooden spoon, you just mix it together to pick up all the butter and the Mighty Might and the parsley and mix it all together. And then you just pop it on the plate. This is the type of potato dish that you can eat on its own. You don't need any meat, you don't need any vegetables, just lovely Mighty Might potatoes. Lots of flavour, it's exactly what you want. Look at that little straggler, tried to escape, tried to get away from Uncle Richo. No, 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 let me go pick you up. You're going right on top there. A little sprinkle of parsley. That's how you do potatoes.